Most people in America think they're intelligent about the Lord's house. Everybody has suffered through at least one church service at one point in their lifetime, and they made a decision whether or not they like church or not. I was dragged regularly to a church called St. Mark's, which my mother and father voted as a part of the original families of that church to call that church, and they liked that name for a very logical reason. It is the legal name of one of my brothers that died. But openly, he died young, and he already had done a lot of things, allegedly, according to the story he goes, in leadership, not only in my family, in terms of helping to rear kids and make sure they didn't get beaten to death by my father and my mother in some sort of emotional, psychological, or physical way, because back then you did not spare the rod to ensure that you did not spoil the child. But thankfully, we've come a long way since the strap and the belt and things that people used long ago in terms of disciplining their child. Paddles have also gone, thank God, but we do still spank up until a particular age, but not very often. The parent has the responsibility of deciding what is the appropriate time out or repercussion for bad behavior. Yelling rarely works because all it does is teach the child to fucking yell. Hitting doesn't work over a lifetime because it teaches children to hit and be violent. So we have to plan our lives a little different sometimes. But what people like to piss on is, who the fuck are you? You're so arrogant. No, I'm not. I'm a very highly logical, analytical, personal mind. And if you don't like my channel, then pick another channel to watch. If you like my channel, then pick and choose the titles by asking God in your soul, should I watch this or not? It's not that hard. This is not rocket science. Spirituality is about listening to God. 